everybody, welcome to Improv Separately Together. I'm your host, Philip Whiting, and today's guest, a friend of mine, his name is Jeff! Hey, Philip, how's it going? <laughs> Good, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Awesome, uh, thank you for coming on the show today. Uh, why don't you go ahead and let the audience know a little bit about yourself. Okay, I'm Jeff Melton, and uh, I'm a native of Greenville County. And I work for the library system, and I've been a member of Alchemy uh, Improv for about five years, I guess now. It's been about five years. Nice, nice. Um, so, like, uh, I'm going around and I'm uh, talking to people. Uh, they're not all improvisers, but most of them are. Um, and I'm seeing how everyone's doing during this craziness that we're going through. So I'm just going to uh, ask you about five questions, and then uh, I hear you brought a friend with you, and uh, I'll go ahead and interview them also, if that's okay. Okay, that'd be great. Yeah, okay, be awesome. Important. So we'll just go ahead and jump right into this, buddy. So with the whole coronavirus going around, uh, what's changed in your normal day-to-day -day process? Well, obviously, work has been closed. Uh, so I've been going to work, uh, been doing some yard work, uh, more yard work than, than I usually do. And uh, I found myself, you can't really go any place because it's not safe. So I, I'll drive around randomly sometimes just, just, to go, just to go on a trip and do anything. I'll drive around a little bit. Yeah, anything to get out of the house for just five minutes. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I, I, I did. I've done that a couple of times. I ran to like the car wash just to leave. <laughs> um, okay, so like you were saying, we're all stuck at home pretty much all the time. What do you like about that? What do I like about that? Well, uh, I have gotten to do a little more yard work and I kind of enjoy working outside. I'm usually stuck inside all the time working at the library system, right. normally inside. That's been one benefit that I get to get out a little bit more, do a little bit different work. Just get a little bit of a uh, fresh air. Uh, and hey, also, also inside, I caught up on some TV television series. Oh, nice. Dead, dead, but I'm running, about running out of Deadwood and Homeland. I've run out of <laughs> series. Well, you'll have to find more. There's plenty out there. Yeah. Um, okay, I like on the same type of question on the other side of it. What do you uh, dislike about being home so much? Uh, just, just I, I like to occasionally go places, and you can't go anywhere. <laughs> stuck in the same place can be tough sometimes, uh, so it gets a little boring. So, like I said, I'll get up and I'll walk outside for a while, just wander around, get in the car and go on a little bit of trip. Uh, I visited. Uh, it's kind of funny. I've gone to cemeteries a few times. Uh, one up in Pumpkin Town where relatives are. Yeah, relatives are buried because there's nobody there. You can't get sick. That's a it's a nice little drive. Right, so, right. Up in the mountains. Go go visit some family from the past. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. Um, so, uh, what are you missing the most right now? Missing the most? Oh, gosh. Uh, well, missing missing alchemy. I'm probably going to go to Coffee Underground or to uh, Greer to, to uh, sometimes guest with uh, Never Decaf Improv. Right, right. Uh, we, we definitely we definitely love having you as a guest. <laughs> um, okay, so so I guess we'll say like your thing you're missing the most is performing and being with other improvisers. Okay, so, right, right. So let's imagine that the day has come, all restrictions are lifted, we can go do anything we want. What's that first thing you want to go do? Oh, I want to go do, do some improv, man. Coffee Underground. Oh. There, there you have it. That's, see, I actually expected that to be almost a hundred percent of people's answers, and and it hasn't been. So I'm, I, I'm loving to hear what people are saying. Number two, number two, it's it's behind, not far behind. I'd like to go see some baseball. Uh, yes, hey. that, that 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 season got stopped before it even happened. So uh, that's right. So maybe maybe that'll come back right away too. Um, okay, so. That's all the uh, questions I actually have that we do. Um, so I hear you brought a friend with you. And, yeah, that's uh, true. Awesome. Uh, you go ahead and get them ready. I'll, I'm going to talk to the audience and uh, reintroduce to your friend. All right? Okay. All right, Jeff's bringing his friend. I'm not sure who that friend is. Let's meet him, them, her together when he gets back. Hey, welcome to the show, you! What, 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 what's going on? 
Uh, hi, uh, my name's Philip. Uh, who are you? I'm, I'm Jack. Jack, Jack. Um, how, how are you doing today, Jack? You doing good? I'm, I'm doing pretty well. I've been stuck here with my cousin. Okay. Uh, house. Well, um, I'm Philip. I'm just uh, going around and catching up with people to see how they're uh, doing through this uh, crisis that we are all going through. Uh, can I ask you a few questions? I have to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says, I, yeah, he says I have to do this. Okay, great, great. Um, so with this whole virus going around, uh, what's changed in your uh, everyday process? Well, I'm stuck here with relatives. Okay. That's how I'd say it, stuck with relatives. Oh, so you're stuck with relatives is what's changed in your life. Okay, that makes sense. Um, now that you are stuck with your relatives all the time, what do you like about it? There's, there's hope that it will end. Yes, that is, that is definitely a good thing. What, what do you? I want to get out of here. Uh, yes, I, I understand that too. I'm ready to get out myself. As soon as possible. Huh? As soon as possible. Oh yes, yes. Um, Okay, but on that same uh, note, what do you dislike about having to be home all the time? I, I don't. I don't like being home all the time with relatives, all the time. Oh. Um, and ramen noodles gets old after a while. Oh. Okay. Uh, all right. So, if I had to, if you had to say one thing that you are missing the most, what would that be? Independence, freedom, they're sort of the same thing, I guess. They, they go hand in hand, yes, I, I agree with that. All right, so I, I'm, gonna, I'm only going to ask you one more question. I'm not going to hold you up too long. Um, I, when, when we're allowed to go out and do whatever we want, everything's open, what's that first thing that you would like to go do? I, I'm going to run like hell away from this place. I'm going to get out and just drive as far as I possibly can. Oh. And if I the gas I'm going to get and I'm going to run and keep running and running as far as I can get away from these people. Oh, okay. Well, um... What that is, it would be better than here. Uh, okay. I, I, I feel I feel for you. Um, that's all the questions I actually have. Uh, would you like to say hi to anybody before you leave? Yes, I'll, I'll see you. I, probably, I want to see you soon, honey. I, I'll, I'll be away from this place. I'm okay. I'm going to survive. I will survive. Okay, is is her name Honey, or is that just your nickname for her? It's my nickname for my, my, my wife. Okay, Honey, you know who you are, and that's what counts. All right, well, uh, thank oh, Go ahead. It's family, Honey. Sorry. I'm sorry, Honey. It's family. I have to help out. Oh, all right, Honey, you know who you are. Uh, well, thank you for uh, answering my questions and being on the show. Uh, you go ahead and let your... Uh, cousin or brother or whatever he is come back cousin. All right. might have to ask Jeff about that <laughs> you embarrassed me uh, I'm sorry no, no you I'm have I, I, I really want to know what what's going on there he seems, um, seems like I, seems like you're forcing him to stay there well his wife like is paying us to keep him here. Oh, all right, honey. We won't tell him. I, I don't. I don't know what your name is. I'm just going with the nickname. He's okay. I'm going to take good care of him. Don't I, worry about me. I, I believe you. I trust you. I trust you. Um, so that's all uh, the questions I had for the day. And uh, is there anything or anybody you would like to uh, give a shout out to? Anything you would like to say to the people? Oh, just just say hello to everybody and keep your spirits up and. Um, hopefully some, some good news. This, this crisis won't be as bad as it, it's been and we'll all get back to normal and having fun with each other. So. Right. Awesome. All right. So, uh, I'm, I'm going to say thanks again to you for coming out and I'll be right back with you. Hey folks, that's uh, the show for today. Remember when you're out, uh, say thank you to all those people that are out there still working to keep things on the shelf. So you'll have them for your house. Give a shout out to all those healthcare workers, uh, the truck drivers, mechanics, all those kind of people that are still working. If you see them, say thank you. And uh, remember, uh, keep your hands clean, mask up, stay safe, stay home if you can. Peace.